So it's a beautiful sunny day out here at the Daytona 500. I'm here with Matt Collick, team owner Collick Racing. I'm Ernest Baker, editor in chief at Front Office Sports. We're gonna talk about your team. We're gonna talk about NASCAR. We're gonna talk about how this whole thing came together. And you know, you've had an unconventional path to NASCAR. I'd really, yep. I guess like to start at the beginning. Uh, what was it like growing up in Ohio? Can you tell us a little bit about where you come from? Well, I uh, so I was born in Columbus, Ohio. Uh, grew up in Cincinnati okay. and then moved to uh, Chicago, Philadelphia, like that whole, my dad's job, like took us all over the place. But actually my dad worked for a company called Rebestas Brakes and they were involved in NASCAR as a sponsor just back when I was a kid. So uh, we'd go to some NASCAR races, but uh, mostly we went to Indy races. So yeah. we went to the Indy 500 every year at, uh, at Indy car races and uh, just loved it. I mean, fell in love with the sport. And um, yeah, it was super fun. I played, I played stick and ball sports. So I played football and baseball and basketball and all that. So I was never Senior, involved. Midwest kid. Yeah, know, I mean, that's what we did. And uh, so never was a racer, never got involved. So even the conventional way for racing or to get into race is, is to, to race or grow up in a racing family. And uh, just, I, I didn't start out that way. So, University of Akron, you're playing football. Yep. So I played football at the University of Akron, was a quarterback, and went to business school there. And uh, met my wife. She was a cheerleader. And so just stayed right there in Northeast Ohio. My very first job out of college was um, was selling remodeling products. So we sold wind, everything for your home, like windows and siding and kitchens and roofs and basement. And so totally learned that business. Worked at that company for eight years and then started my own business. We started selling leaf filter gutter protection. Yeah. So just started that thing out of my house. You know, we, we clean out gutters and put gutter screens on and then and then just started growing that. So this is 2005, just started growing that. Yeah, what are the early years of that business like? What, yeah, do, no, what do you learn? What happens? Just, I mean, just literally being an entrepreneur, like literally working out of my house. I yeah. mean, business phone was this, like a cell phone. Mm -hmm. um, had one installer and one marketing person. So, and me, I sold every job like that first year, um, did 350,000 in business. I mean, early years, like standing at flea markets, right. just with a, with a display and just having people come up and talk to you about gutter protection. So you know what it's like to build something from the ground up. 100%. So I imagine that's translated to NASCAR. It is, it is 100% the, the same thing. Right. I mean, we've taken the business practices at Leaf Filter. So even talking about Leaf Filter and then just started growing offices, you know, we're in Hudson, Ohio, Northeast Ohio, and then just started opening offices up everywhere. And if you fast forward to today, like now it's a, you know, one and a half billion dollar company that's, we have 130 offices in the US and Canada and we, we sell all kinds of products. So um, same thing, you know, when, when we wanted to get into NASCAR, um, you know, we started out as a sponsor, did it for two years as a sponsor. And then me being, you know, getting to know some of the other team owners and executives in NASCAR and being entrepreneurial, I was like, I think I could do this myself. Yeah. And so then, then did met a couple people met Chris Rice, uh, our uh, our our president and CEO of College Racing, and got together with him just to talk about what it would look like. Like, what do we need to do? What do we need to? Who do we need to align with? Do we need uh, what manufacturer do we do? What kind of race cars do we drive? And we just literally started that thing from scratch. I mean, built a race shop, hired a driver, hired crew chiefs hired engineers and and just started from scratch so yeah i want to i awesome. want to get into all of that in yeah. terms of just like building a team what it's like the type of winning mentality that you instill into your team but i have to ask your quarterback yeah. you grow up playing football is there anything that you learned from leading a team in that capacity that of course it's a long time ago but that you applied to your business that you applied to your team yeah, so I think that's probably been the the biggest factor in even being able to build a business or um, or build a, a race team, but uh, especially is just the leadership aspect. I mean, when you're a quarterback, you don't have a choice but to lead. Yeah. I mean, whether you're talking about in the huddle, uh, with in, in rallying the guys, or just just having leadership skills to, to understand like your coaches instilling you is you're the leader. Like you have to have people 
people have to follow you. You have to get people to follow you. And so that's probably the biggest key to leadership is to get people, the ability to get people to follow you, to do what you do and trust you enough, um, you know, to, to be able to follow. So in business, uh, I think that was my biggest thing is the ability to, to get people to follow and trust you know, what we do. And it's translated into now NASCAR, where you can build a team. It's not easy. I mean, in NASCAR, like we came into the sport and people have been doing this for 50 years. Yeah. I mean, the team owners that we're dealing with, like Richard Petty and, and uh, Roger Penske and Joe Gibbs and Rick Hendrick. And I mean, they've literally been doing this for decades and decades and have super uh, like experience. And then to be a new person coming into the sport that isn't from the South, didn't grow up racing. My name's not Earnhardt, you know, or, or Dale Jarrett, or, you know, and just the ability to just rally everybody and, and trust that, that we could follow. So now you fast forward, this is our seventh year. This is the third time we're running the Daytona 500 and uh, we've had a lot of success. I mean, I think we've won 15 races and uh, people know who we are, people trust us. And uh, so it's just, it, it's been a good ride, good experience so far.